we are joined by uh, the legendary Roshan Mahanama. Um, he captained and um, made his mark at uh, this uh, particular venue and uh, everywhere else he played and um, went on to become uh, an ICC match referee, a very respected one. He's out of all that. He's now enjoying family life. Massive shot, brilliant hit. So the intentions are good on the part of uh, the Trinity batsman. Welcome on commentary, Roshan. Welcome, uh, Haritha Jali. I said that there was somebody to replace. I have not come here to replace, but yeah. I have just come here to join you. Look and and, 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 <laughs> know and, huh? be, and be part of this uh, exactly. historic event. I think we all have an obligation in supporting these kids, and uh, they couldn't have asked for a uh, for a better initiative to name a trophy after two of the greatest players that Sri Lanka has ever produced and uh, I think these are things that a lot of the other schools also should do. It's purely because you give some hope to some of these youngsters who are looking up to great cricketers, who are looking up to national cricketers, that they do have um, a future as well. Papare.com and uh, Bassman.com will be very happy uh, to have uh, this uh, legendary cricketer here. Did you did you play with uh, the two of them at any stage, Roshan? I had the pleasure of sharing a room with Mahala, oh. uh, sharing a dressing room with Mahala. Unfortunately, did I you have two <laughs> <laughs> two toothbrushes. Uh, uh, that I would have not sort of <laughs> gone into gone into the nitty gritty of what he used to carry. But I didn't ha did not have the the pleasure of sharing a dressing room or being part of a team with Sangha Kara, Sangha uh, who's fondly known as. But I have shared lot of um, uh, you know we've we've gone down memory lane and shared uh, time together whenever whenever we've had an opportunity um, having said that um, I would like uh, to bring uh, your memory towards uh, this particular venue and uh, more specifically the uh, Nalanda Trinity match uh, what is your um, pleasant memory first of all are you referring to the grounds no, or, no, no, the, the, or the, 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 the match, Trinity, match, Trinity, Trinity, Trinity Nalanda? Nalanda I must say it started even before I started playing for the first 11 team. I still remember uh, the, the, the big belt Ravi Ratnayaka coming to bowl on a, on a matin. We did have a player by the name of Bandula Di Silva again bowling on the, on the same track. I had a brother who was also in the Nalanda team so we used to come and that's Devaka isn't that's it that's Devaka yeah, okay. used to used to come and watch them play and uh, i think Ravi made it to the under 19 team while he was in um, in school and also to the national national team so looking at people like Ravi and some of the some of the players who pull Gamage who's who's come forward to uh, put a few things together at Nalanda Cricket also was, was one of the players who were playing at, at the time. And these sort of memory sticks out um, and it stays in your mind as well because um, I think when you want to represent your school to start with, you obviously want to emulate some of the, some of the icons or some of the players you have gone on to represent the country. Uh, Roshan uh, came into the Nal on the side um, after his elder brother uh, Devaka Mahanama, who was also a very talented and stylish, technically correct bat. Uh, when when was the it, uh, that you captained Nal on the? I captained in 1984. Unfortunately, we had a tour to Australia at the time, missed part of the season. But the best season that I was involved in was captained by Kushan Veerasinghe, that's I think 1983-84. That, that, that was the son of Chandrasere Veerasinghe? Correct. Uh, I, I, I did mention Chandrasere Veerasinghe was uh, the um, present day cricketers uh, hard-eating batsman's nightmare. And, and, uh, and uh, I, we went on to become the, the best team. So if you look at a season, I would, I would say that was the best season that I was, um, best team that I was involved in in the five years that I played for Nalanda, but um, the ground, Nalanda, always has a special place okay. in my Th that, That's my Nalanda. Heart. What about uh, playing Trinity in Askaria? No, in the good what old, is your memory? Uh, in, the, in the good old days, we used to travel by train. Oh. We had our plans to, to counter the opposition. Yes, we were all kids, we were youngsters, but discipline was priority. We had 
don't coach. tell me that for, for for me i had a coach i i was brought up um under uh, un, under him that's mr nelson mendis and as kids yes you need to enjoy but you should know where to draw the line and going to candy that that year uh, i remember you know we went out and uh, we had to go back um by carrying a few a few other players but ah, uh, but obviously yeah. what goes on tour stays on tour i'm not going to yeah, go yeah, into no, go, I mean, go, go into detail but we've we not we are talking of an era which was enjoyed by everybody players spectators the officials uh, unlike sometimes today the pressure of winning a game because it is a tournament match you you kill the spirit of cricket you 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 are again spot on harita now a lot of people have messaged me saying that nalanda was bowled out for less than the trinity score i said i am not bothered at the exactly. end of the day what i want what i want this what i want for these cricketers is to learn understand analyze games if you are going into the second innings how to bowl the side out to go for a victory and uh, what matters is at the end of the day whether you played the four innings and whether you won a won a game i know when there's a tournament yes you need to differentiate some of the teams um, but as far as i'm concerned if you're looking at the bigger picture i will never I'll never worry when when the, the 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 team does not go past the the score of the opposition when you when you consider um, batsman and uh, papare and their involvement with school cricket i want you to give a positive message to the nalan the players uh, as a distinguished old boy no my message to them is never give up you need to dream you need to have a target you need to have a goal i keep talking to the boys as well they should have a plan at the start of the season they need to analyze either half or at some point during the season you might need to readjust and uh, at the end of the day you need to enjoy but yes individually you can have targets you can have goals they should never focus on the team goal and they have to be team uh, they should not forget that it's a it's a team sport and what matters is at the end of the day um how the tifo, uh, team performs one more minute and uh, my last question um he was uh, uh, it was a trademark when roshan manam was there as a school boy cricketer or national cricketer one was his kit the other one was his uh, excellent batting and the third most uh, striking one was his brilliant fielding now uh, there were six catches dropped and uh, one stump gone uh, begging this time how much of pressure would come into a team if that fielding aspect uh, is working against you i think the modern day cricketers need to focus heavily on fielding i think every member is expected to to do his best on the field you can't carry passengers and that's an area that they need to focus but by saying that you should not really go hard at somebody who has dropped a catch because no one would drop a catch or miss a miss a run out purposely what you need to do is if you're on field try and encourage the player concerned to try and perform better the next time but the others also need to rally around that's why i say it's a team sport though you have um, individual targets individual a uh, focus uh, point but when you're in the team you need to be feeling if somebody has missed a catch sorry for your your player partner team member if he's done well even though if you have not done well you need to be happy for your colleague that's what sport teachers i think that's what people need to learn and these kids i think um, it's these are all lifelong lessons for them thank you very much uh, don't go uh, how many grandchildren harit i can proudly say that i've gone a step further than you and maybe most of uh, my colleagues who are my age uh, if i say it in singhali yeah, yeah, yeah. you're you're my devil <laughs> man if i say it, say it in singhali i'm a desi and now okay. so i've got i've got two grandkids okay. he, so <laughs> he was a superb team man he is uh, an exemplary family man and on behalf of uh, the match organizers the 88 group and uh, everybody else thanks roshan for just coming over here and sharing your thoughts and adding more value to this uh, entire coverage thanks harita for having me and let me wind up by wishing all of you a successful 2019 and on a personal note i would like to see nalanda producing a few more national cricketers in the years to come with your kind of inspiration they certainly would do thank you very much sharosh thank you.